Hi Gemini, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot from Hearts. We're going to do your uh, weekly reading, the 16th to the 22nd of September 2019. I'm really sorry that I don't have the opening credits this week and kind of like the list of cards that I'm using this week for the weekly check-in. And also your work and the love reading. It's just that I'm recording my, my twin sister. I've been here for a few days. It's far too warm to record from my apartment. So often when it gets really warm in this country, I tend to retreat over to my uh, my twin sisters, my brother-in-law and my niece's home, which is a massive, big house. And uh, she allows me to use her wardrobe room. I could use the dining room downstairs, but this is much more cosy to kind of work in. But it's difficult to hone down on cards and show you the cards and stuff. So I'm going to be on the reading all the way throughout. I guess you don't mind. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to do your weekly check-in first and then we're going to have a look at your work and then your love and I'll timestamp everything below. So if you just want to have a look at work, just click on that, go to that. If you just want to have a look at love, click on that, go to that. Okay, so let's have a look then. We're going to make a start and we're going to ask the universe um, with the hand, with the uh, Robin Wood deck who you are this week. Who is uh, Gemini this week? Show me who Gemini is this week. Okay, and also show me, please, universe, what is the theme of the week for Gemini? Okay, there we go. And can you show me, please, universe, what is the goal that uh, Gemini has this week? What is Gemini's goal this week? Show me Gemini's goal this week. And what is the obstacle that Gemini needs to overcome? What is the obstacle that Gemini needs to overcome? And can you please show me, universe, what could Gemini be achieving this week? And uh, what should Gemini be avoiding this week, please? What does Gemini need to embrace this week? Oh, there we are. That's interesting. Okay, there we go. And can you show me, please, universe, uh, if Gemini needs advice, where should they go? All right, cards down, let's oh, always do that. Uh, cards down, let's uh, let's make a start. So Gemini this week, you show as being the Nine of Wands. Okay. Um, you know, the Nine of Wands can mean several things. The Nine of Wands can mean that you're just really tired. I mean, really tired. Uh, you know, this card can be to be on edge, to be really tired, Um you know, to be one step away from either, you know, giving up or to be one step away from not. It's the card that's one step away from the Ten of Wands. So for me, this card has always meant perseverance. And if you look at this guy, he doesn't, I mean, he's got a bandage on his head, yes. But to me, when I look at the Nine of Wands, I always look at what the Nine of Wands figure looks like. And he looks like he's standing guard. And I think that some of you guys are very much standing guard this week. You might be on your guard this week, Gemini, with the Nine of Wands energy. All right, because this is who you are. So if you are the Nine of Wands, you take on the attributes of who this person is. You look like you've been hurt, uh, Gemini, because you've got the band-aid around your head. But you look like you're not giving up. So actually, I feel this week is really good for you, Gemini, because you show as being very tenacious, very determined, very motivated. That even though you've probably been through something quite difficult, you refuse to give up with the Nine of Wands energy. Which I, I mean, you, you're staying at your post. That's the Nine of Wands energy. It's all about staying at your post, not giving in, and just making sure that you keep control of your life. That's what a Nine of Wands card does. This is the bodyguard of the tarot. All right, so he's going to guard his territory. This person is extraordinarily territorial, is the Nine of Wands person. All right, they're not going to allow anyone to make them give anything up. No matter what happens, they're going to keep on the good fight. So I actually feel that this week, Gemini, this is all about you guys persevering. Even though you've been through probably a little bit of a turbulent time, I think that you're persevering. What is the theme of the week, Gemini? The theme of the week is the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is all about new ideas. Sometimes the card will show up and it indicates an argument or because he's young and he's a communicator, he's a young communicator. So sometimes with the Page of Swords, this person's argumentative or this person can be, you know, he doesn't watch his tongue. He doesn't know what he's saying. So sometimes he'll just stay stuff off the top of his head and he doesn't really know. He offends people, that type of thing. But also the Page of Wands is a young explorer. All right. This is somebody who enjoys education. They like to learn new things. They're filled with lots of new ideas that they want to explore. But because he's a communicator, he often likes to communicate those ideas as well. He's a messenger, remember, so pages are messengers. So this week with the page of swords, but this can also be a message as well with the page of swords. It could be an email or a text message. 
All right, but I feel that the week, uh, you know, the theme of the week, it might, I, I just get the impression that this is all about exploring and initiating new ideas. Page of Swords energy. I, I really like this version from the Robin Wood Tarot of this Page of Swords because this page is running. He's just in flight. It looks amazing with his sword. And if you look at this card, it's got clouds on it. Now, usually when you get cards with clouds on it, Gemini, it talks about there being some confusion in the matter. But this sword is breaking through the clouds and you can see the clear spots here where the sword is. So I actually feel that through communication this week, we can break through or we can clear any confusion. And it might be a week for some of you guys that the theme is all about clearing, clearing confusion through communication with the Page of Swords energy, especially via this deck. What is your goal for the week, Gemini? The moon is your goal. I think it's to, number one, get some guidance more than anything. I mean, the moon I don't really read as... I don't know. It depends with the moon. Because sometimes the moon can be read as clarity. And it is. Because this moon energy is about shedding a light on a situation. So I feel that your goal for the week is to get some clarity, to get some guidance. More than anything, it's to get guidance. You won't get the whole story, Gemini. But you'll get some enlightenment concerning a situation so i think that the goal for this week uh, gemini for you guys is to gain some enlightenment some guidance on a matter you need some light to be shone on a matter which is what the moon energy is and what is the obstacle you need to overcome though <laughs> the nine of cups um nine of cups can mean being overly confident that's what that card can mean as well indulgence as well is the nine of cups energy it's interesting your reading is so far. It's not really kind of matching up to me just yet because you have to overcome the obstacle of the Nine of Cups energy. But then the obstacle with the Nine of Cups is very difficult to a Page of Swords. If you think about it this way, look at the page. Look how he leaps forward with his sword. He's breaking through confusion with communication. He's an innovator. He acts. This is the card of action. But look at what the Nine of Cups guy is doing. He's not being very active. He's just sitting back and he's kind of like, oh, well, I'm comfortable where I am. I don't need to take any action. I'm just going to kind of just stay with the status quo. I feel that you need to overcome the obstacle that some of you guys are probably prone to not taking any action in this matter. You're probably prone to saying, you know what, actually, everything's as it should be. I'm comfortable. I've got enough. There's no need for me to go explore. There's no need for me to go communicate. There's no need for me to go and clear this confusion because I'm comfortable as I am. Because the Nine of Cups can also mean just to sit back because you're comfortable and not do anything. Not feel that you have to do anything because you're in a really comfortable position, you know. Why, why bother kind of, you know, poking the bear when you don't have to? But the Page of Swords tends to stand up for the truth. So if he's got something to say, he's got something to say. And he, this is a week about clearing confusion through communication with the Page of Swords energy. But you need to overcome the obstacle that some of you guys probably don't want to do that. Some of you guys probably think, well, what's the point of doing that? Why don't I just leave the situation as it is? Everything seems to be okay. I seem to be okay. Everything seems to be going fine. Why am I bothering to kind of, you know, stir up the hornet's nest? Which is probably what this could be. Because you guys are showing as being the nine of wands. I feel that you're not letting go of the situation here. You've been hurt. You've been bruised. But you're standing by your morals with the nine of wands energy. You're not letting go. But the obstacle is for some of you guys. You're th and, and it's funny because what I'm seeing here is with the page of swords. Where we're breaking through some form of a confusing matter this week. Uh, Gemini with that page of swords we're breaking through the confusion with communication and your goal for the week is to gain clarity and to gain some insight personal insight will be the moon as well into the situation the obstacle that you do need to overcome is just to sit back and do nothing with that nine of cups energy there what is it what could you oh where is the card gone okay my card has decided that it wants to disappear there it is ah. right uh what could you be achieving this week? The Eight of Coins energy. Now, the Eight of Coins is interesting because the Eight of Coins is all about attaining skills and it's about mastering a skill. So you could be mastering something. You could be overcoming some form of an obstacle. Now, the Eight of Coins is about hard work, diligence, focus. Okay, but it's also about learning something as well. Some of you guys, you could be learning something this week with the Eight of Coins. You could be actually be learning a very valuable lesson with that Eight of Coins energy. But you might also be mastering something. There might also be some knowledge with this Eight of Coins for you to gain via this situation this week. What do you need to avoid this week, uh, Gemini? Let's have a look what you need to avoid. 
the page of coins going slowly is the page of coins it's called the princess of coins here but it's the page of coins and the page of coins is kind of taking things very slowly because that's what the coin people do the page of coins is as much a student as the page of swords is okay there is much as you know that this is a, as much as a student card as the page of swords is and I can't quite remember what two pages in a reading is. I mean, if you get three pages, it's about young energy coming together to help each other out, okay, to give support. That's what young energy is, okay. Page of Swords can be crossed wires, though, uh, when you get that. When you get two pages, it can actually literally be crossed wires in terms of communication. But you need to avoid the Page of Coins. Page of Coins is, uh, there's several things. Cautiousness is the Page of Coins. Skepticism is the Page of Coins. So maybe you guys need to avoid being too sceptical about a situation here. Possibly if the obstacle is that you need to overcome the obstacle, that you want to sit back and do nothing, Gemini, maybe you need to avoid the, uh, maybe you need to avoid being too sceptical with the, because what happens with the Page of Coins sometimes is that Page of Coins is very much into self-preservation. That's what the Page of Coins does. He's very much about the self-preservation. So in order to make sure that he's okay, he's kind of like, I don't really want to get my hands too dirty in this situation. You know, so I'm, I'm going to just sit back a little bit. I'm going to try and guard and protect myself. Because remember, the coins are also called shields within the tarot. So the page of coins can be, and all the pages to a certain degree are sceptical. But the most sceptical page that I can think of within the tarot is probably the page of coins. Because he's always pretty much on a lot of decks that I've got and that I've seen, he's always got that coin like this. So I think that you need to avoid kind of being too sceptical. And in turn, we can turn around and say, maybe that's something veer based. Um, or it could be a younger earth sign, perhaps, with the page of coins energy showing there. Or moving too slowly. What do you need to embrace? The King of Cups. I think this is a person, probably. But also the King of Cups can be about having faith as well. That's the King of Cups. I mean, this could be a person that you need to embrace for one reason or another. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Energy, perhaps. Or somebody who's really kind, understanding and empathic. You know, somebody who would understand your needs, for example. So maybe some of you guys need to embrace it. You need counselling or you need help from somebody else, for example, with the King of Cups energy showing up here. Maybe that's what you need to embrace, that you need help. You know, you need some form of emotional support with the King of Cups energy showing here. You know, if this isn't a person, then perhaps you need to embrace the word faith. Because especially if you need to avoid the word scepticism and fear with the page of coins and the need to protect oneself from what happens if you explore a particular situation, uh, maybe you need to embrace more just having faith and doing it. That, and having faith that everything will work its way out. Uh, if you need support, where can you go? The Hierophant. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? This is somebody who can give you some very wise information, some very wise instruction, some very valuable uh, advice is the uh, Hierophant. The Hierophant is a counsellor within the Tower, like the High Priestess, they're both counsellors. So if you need advice, Gemini, go to somebody who can give you wise counsel. Perhaps this is somebody that you work with. Perhaps this is a boss. Perhaps this is somebody from the church. Perhaps this is somebody who works within, you know, health or somebody who works within education, whatever the case might be, because he works within health, education, the Hierophant does, all of those things. But it will be somebody who can give you the benefit of their wisdom and knowledge with the Hierophant energy. Let's quickly recap this reading, Gemini. I actually feel that this week, you guys are showing us the Nine of Wands because you're not giving up on a situation. You're staying in, on in there. You've been hurt. Uh, you've been affected by a situation. You've got the Band-Aid on your head. But you're not giving up, you're not backing down, and you are, and in a way, it feels this way with this card, in a way, when I look at this card, Gemini, it almost feels like you're kind of protecting your territory, you're saying, I'm not leaving this, I'm not leaving here, this is my territory, this is where I belong, and I'm not giving up, no chance, I'm not doing that. It feels like that with this card with the Nine of Wands, and this is the week about clearing some form of confusion, I think, with the Page of Swords through direct communication. Perhaps this is all about getting something off your chest, um, Gemini. Perhaps this is something... Because this is the card about speaking your truth, right? So it's a week for speaking your truth. The theme of the week is all about speaking your truth so that you can clear some form of 
confusion or you can you know you can clear some form of confusion or fear within yourself with those clouds in the background that the sword is breaking through your goal is to get guidance and clarity and wisdom and enlightenment you need enlightenment gemini this week that's your goal for the week with the moon energy you need a light shine on or shone on a situation in which you are directly communicating so that you can, can conflict so that you can clear the confusion sorry i can't get my words out okay this is all about getting that clarity with the moon energy but i think that you need to overcome the obstacle that some of you guys are kind of like i don't want to say lazy but the nine of cups is a bit lazy ish sorry he is he's a bit lazy because this is the card of indulgement this is the card of kind of like sitting down and like in front of the tv like oh well, this is nice oh yeah this is nice oh no no i'll leave that to tomorrow i don't have to go up and do that oh oh this is like that's the type of thing with the nine of cups it's where you're really comfortable and you're kind of like oh well you know you know i've got this thing to do i know that there's this thing that's been affecting me but you know what i'm just kind of and also the nine of cups can be the card of indulgence so maybe you need to uh, overcome the obstacle that some of you guys are indulging in something that is stopping you from going out speaking your truth and clearing the air because i do feel that you need to clear the air on a matter and that clearing the air gemini will either be within yourself or it will be an external situation but you need to overcome the obstacle that some of you guys have become kind of a little bit i'm not going to call you lazy but he is kind of lazy you've become a little bit kind of what's the word i'm looking for it's not is it nonchalant you've become kind of nonchalant about the whole thing okay you kind of it's almost like this is the type of card that says yeah yeah i'll do it tomorrow yeah, yeah i'll do it tomorrow that's the nine of cups guys like, oh this is comfortable i'll do it tomorrow but you need to overcome that obstacle because it might be that by the end of the week uh gemini you're learning something here you're mastering a skill as well maybe you're mastering the skill of speaking out with the page of swords because i feel that the eight of coins is saying that by the end of the week you could be mastering a skill and that skill will be something that you never thought you could do before because some of you guys, it's all about direct communication, opening up, speaking your truth so that you can clear a situation. You can clear the air. You can clear the clouds. You can clear the confusion, whether it's external or internal. But this is something some of you guys probably never thought you could do because you're learning the skill of the eight of coins of how to speak out, of how to own your situation, of how to speak your truth. You were already there. You were already there when you did the nine of wands because that's you. You've been battered and bruised, Gemini, but you say, oh, no, I ain't backing down. I ain't backing down, no. Mm -mm. This is my home. This is my territory. I ain't backing down. But yet you say one thing, but for some of you guys, I'm sorry to say, you might say one thing, but then you, you do another with the Nine of Cups energy. And yet they're nines. You're nearly there. You're one step away from clearing whatever this is up. But you say one thing, but yet you do another. And that's the obstacle you need to overcome because by the end of the week, Gemini, you could literally be mastering the art or mastering the skill of speaking your truth. It's not that you couldn't do it. It's just that maybe some of you guys couldn't be bothered to do it or you'd become too kind of nonchalant or you'd just let it slip. Avoid the page of coins. Being too cautious, I would say. Could be a person, yeah, but I would say more than some of you, some of you guys, it's just being too cautious. It's not reverse to indicate laziness. But this is the card of scepticism and being too cautious and shielding yourself. Especially if this area here of the Nine of Cups is some of you guys have said, yeah, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow because you didn't really want to face up to what, you know, what the after effects might be if you spoke your truth on the situation, you know. So I actually feel that, you know, avoid kind of with the page of coins being too guarded in this situation because you're already at the point where you're saying no this needs to be cleared and i need to speak my peace and speak my truth so you need to get to it embrace the king of cups could be a person yeah could be maybe this is someone you need to make up with or this might be somebody who can give support could be male or female embrace the fact some of you guys need support need help Maybe this week it's all about speaking your truth so you can clear a matter, but maybe what you need to embrace with the King of Cups is somebody who can help you to do this with the King of Cups energy. Somebody who can offer you emotional support. Maybe if you're cautious and it's all about protecting yourself, Gemini, with the page of coins and that's what you need to avoid, maybe you need to embrace just having that bit more trust because King of Cups is my trust card. And if you need advice... And support go to the hierophant this is somebody who's going to give you be able to give you the benefit of their wisdom 
they're going to be able to give you some very wise instruction just like a king of cups very similar let's have a look at what the uh, universe is saying to you in terms of advice so through the angel cards universe what is the advice that you have for gemini this week what's the advice you have for gemini this week show me the advice gemini is the situation is going to improve okay situation will improve but you need to get more information okay showing up here um it's telling you to let go and forgive let go and forgive all right um yeah yeah, that's as far as it's going to go there. So the advice from the angels is the situation will improve, but you need to get more information. All right, let go and forgive. Okay, right. What we're going to do now, my darlings, ugh, that reading's done. We are going to get on with your work reading for the week. Don't worry, next week it will be back to normal, whereby the, re you know, the shuffles will be speeded up when I'm back home and kind of doing the readings uh, from my home. Universe Spirit, in 10 cards, what do you see happening for work for Gemini this week? Show me Gemini and work this week. All right. I'm going to put our cards down. One, two, three. We'll turn them off, actually. It's quicker. Choices. There are choices to be made. Ten of, seven of Cups energy in work, okay? That could be you, Queen of Swords. Now, Queen of Swords is a decision card. Okay, Queen of Swords can also mean to cancel or to cut something out. So do you have a choice to be made? Do you have to make a choice with the Seven of Cups? Does it involve you leaving a job, for example, with the Queen of Swords? Because Queen of Swords would be leaving a job, probably, in a tarot reading. Okay, King of Cups energy showing up here. So the King of Cups is an offer. Uh, often when those cups show up, they show offers as well with the King of Cups energy. Sudden changes. You're being offered something of a sudden, sudden change, I think. Here, I think somebody's offering you a sudden change. So I think you've got a choice to make, um, Gemini. Uh, and the choice is whether you leave a job uh, because somebody's offering you a sudden change. Okay, But I think that you don't want to take it with the Five of Cups. I think you're afraid to take it. Uh, seven of swords seven of swords is strategizing planning ahead is the seven of swords energy uh you've got the empress energy here uh empress is all about abundance but for me the seven of swords takes from the empress so there's something about a lack of abundance showing here with the seven of swords and that empress or maybe you're dealing with a dodgy woman here for example uh with that seven of swords and the empress energy showing up here now, I think a lack of abundance has left you guys feeling like your hands are tied with what you do. Ten of Swords energy showing up here. It's left you feeling like a victim. Uh, Ace of Coins is new money or a new job with the Ace of Coins energy. Yeah, there's definitely something about a new job. You've got the Fool energy here. So the Fool is all about an opportunity of a new job here. Right, so let's put the cards together. I feel what's happening in terms of work for some of you Geminis is, is that some of you guys have probably been, because I read the Seven of Swords as lack, because it takes, it detracts, and this is abundance. So I feel that some of you guys have been feeling a lack of abundance with both of those cards there, all right? And I feel that uh, it's been making you feel like your hands are tied, you're feeling a little bit victim mode, you're feeling really mentally pressured by this as well. And some of you guys have felt really like giving up, you've been feeling really probably quite depressed with that Ten of Swords showing there. I feel that there are choices that you need to make now the choices that you need to think about are whether you're going to cut away from the job that you're in or whatever it is that you do that brings that lack of abundance to you okay because it has been making you feel down gemini okay because i do feel that some of you guys are receiving a sudden offer all right so an offer sudden changes all right a sudden you know an offer from a king of cups to suddenly move to something else here but i feel that you're worried with that five of cups maybe you're worried it's not going to bring in as much money as you have done before for example but i do feel that there is an opportunity for you to start something new here in terms of work because the answer coins can be a new job okay we'll do it again you guys you've been experiencing i think a lack of abundance here all right uh ten of swords has been making you feel quite down quite mentally pressured i think i think that you have choices that you need to make in terms of work do you move away from the, what you're doing right now with that queen of swords energy showing here i feel that some of you guys are being made something of a sudden offer so out of the blue it's almost like this offer comes for a new job here okay um 
but it might also be that some of you guys are a little bit worried about doing something completely new as well with the fall. So what I'm seeing in this reading is that there's an opportunity to do something new. But I and I feel that some of you guys, what you've been doing, it's not been probably not been bringing in enough money. But I do get the impression there's something new on the horizon for you, Gemini. But it just seems to me some of you guys are either worried about. It feels to me that you're worried that even though you're not earning maybe as much as you are where you are now you're still worried about kind of doing something completely new. So you'll have to figure that one out. You'll have to figure out whether moving on and doing something new is going to be more beneficial to you or is it staying with what you have? Some of you guys are thinking to yourself, well, maybe if I stay where I have, I am, there's going to be improvements. But for me, it didn't look like that like way in the cards. Um, so yeah, I'm seeing new job, new offers coming in, but a lot of worry about taking those new offers that are coming up. Let's have a quick look at what's going on um, in terms of love. For Gemini. Universe Spirit, show me in 10 cards love for Gemini. What do you see coming in for love for Gemini? 16th to the 22nd of September. Okay, Nine of Cups, nice. Party time, happiness, joy, contentment, sexual pleasure. The Nine of Cups energy. Yeah, there's definitely lots of sexual pleasure here. Uh, Ace of Wands is sex and the Nine of Cups is pleasure. And lots of sexual pleasure, I think, for some of you Geminis in terms of a relationship. Yeah. You've got two aces. Ace of Cups is a new relationship. Perhaps this is sexual pleasure within a new relationship for some of you guys. However, the Eight of Swords, fears, internal fears with the Eight of Swords concerning uh, giving your heart to this person, I think, with the Queen of Cups energy. So whilst I'm seeing a lot of sexual pleasure, I think it's a new relationship because we've got that Ace of Cups sitting there. But some of you guys are feeling a lot of internal worries about giving your heart away with the Queen of Cups energy showing there. Eight of Coins, taking time to study the partner with the Eight of Coins energy. Three of Wands, I think that what you're looking to do, because you're looking, usually Three of Wands would be the person that you're reading for. So what you're looking at is studying this person. You don't want to rush into anything, do you? Gemini with this individual, okay? Temperance energy, so temperance is taking your time, okay? This is all about things happening over a period of time. Slow movement as a timing card, temperance energy is... Okay, uh, yeah, definitely moving slowly. Hermit and the Temperance card. Timing cards, I think. Let's talk about you guys moving slowly. You're wanting to move really slowly because what you're looking at doing is kind of studying and finding out as much as you can about this partner. Um, magician energy. Interesting. Uh, if you look at the Hermit, can you see where his face is looking? He's looking at the Magician. Can you see where he's looking at all of these things on the Magician? I'm wondering if this is the person that you've met. Because this looks just very suspicious. And when I do tarot, I look at the cards and where they face. You're shining a light on all of these things that this person has. Now, remember, the magician is a presenter. So this person casts an illusion. Some of you don't trust this person, I think. Some of you guys are moving really, really slowly with this hermit energy showing here. I don't think that you are detaching yourself with the hermit as it can be, definitely. I just feel with the temperance and the hermit energy, you're moving very, very slowly. It's almost like you're keeping an eye on what this person's doing or how they're presenting themselves. So what I'm going to say here is for love, Gemini, I definitely feel there's lots of pleasure. You've got sexual pleasure, probably, but lots of pleasure with the uh, with the nine of cups and the eyes of wands. Um, could be sexual as well. If you're heterosexual, we have, uh, sorry to say this, but penis and vagina. Vagina is the eyes of cups, penis is the eyes of wands. Lots of pleasure. Some of you guys having lots of sexual pleasure probably with someone here as well. But you are frightened about giving your heart to this individual. Uh, I feel that you guys are going to move really, really slowly. I feel that you're trying to find out, You're because he's an investigator, you're trying to find out whether this person's spinning you a line, whether they're lying to you. Because remember, he's creating an illusion. So what you're trying to find out, being the hermit, is that you're looking towards whether this person's creating an illusion. So what you're focusing on is just finding out as much about this person as you possibly can. I'm seeing a new relationship here, and though you're having a lot of fun with it, Gemini, I actually feel that you're very, very cautious about giving your heart away to this individual. And you're going to take your time just to figure out who they are, which, to be honest with you, I think it's really clever to do it that way, especially if you've been hurt before. Let's have a look at uh, any other advice for love. Any other advice you have for Gemini for love? Any other advice you have for Gemini for this love reading, please? Show me. Um, right, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Interesting. Okay. Uh, anything else? And it says to flirt. 
So extend your light-hearted energies to others as well. And let's have a look at for work and money. Uh, Universe Spirit, what do you have for work and money for Gemini, please? Uh, block out distractions. So it says your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. Interesting. And I think that this is what's coming up in this reading as well when I look at the love reading. Because I feel that you're moving very slowly with this individual. I feel that you're keeping an eye on them. But also the Hermit is all about gaining insight into your skills and talents with the magician energy. So this is all about somebody who's gaining insight, hermit, into what their skills and talents are. But it's not your skills and talents. You want to gain insight into what their skills and talents are. Are ye? Are they a bit of a blagger? When you look at someone and you say, well, what are their skills and talents? It, there's a little bit of an insult on that. Because when we look at love partners, we're not looking for someone to have a skill and a talent. What we're looking at, are they authentic? The magician is not a particularly authentic card, unfortunately. Okay, so it's almost like you're looking out for anything that's inauthentic in this individual, you know. So maybe, just maybe, you need to kind of block out anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important to you in terms of work. You already know that these what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. Finally, uh, Gemini, the three-card answer deck. Universe Spirit, what is the advice you have for Gemini through the three-card answer deck? Show me. You're gaining, so gain. Let's have a look at the next one. Stop looking, listen. Spiritual. Okay. Um, so I feel that the universe is kind of saying to you this the week, this week, uh, Gemini. That some of you guys are trying to get ahead here with the gain card, but you need to stop looking, listen. There might be a spiritual message here for you with the spiritual card. Because he's looking directly at the spiritual eye. So it's almost like whilst you're trying to get ahead this week, just slow down a little bit with the stop, look and listen card and look out for any spiritual messages maybe you should be receiving this week, okay? Because it's not all about go, go, go. Sometimes the universe wants us to hear a message and sometimes we're so busy that we're not hearing the messages. So whatever that, you know, that manifests as for you, Gemini, some of you guys are racing ahead into something, but you need to kind of draw back, stop looking, listen, because there's probably a spiritual message just waiting for you to kind of take notice of. All right, that's your reading, Gemini, for the week. I would like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. If you like your own personal reading, just click on the link in the comment section to my website. You'll go straight through or the end screen. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.